We're trying to turn people on to new things, which is what we do with the drinks, the music, and just sort of the overall vibe of the Whistler, which is laid back, fun. I personally try to work a little bit more with the underrepresented spirits, um, especially in cocktails. I like to try and use a lot of mezcals, uh, rums, which are coming up a little bit. You know, they're, they're getting to be on par with whiskeys now. And in this specific instance, uh, using a chartreuse-based uh, cocktail, which was a classic recipe, um, well, a modern classic from Marco Dionysus, the chartreuse swizzle. Um, basically took a little bit of inspiration from that, used uh, the verdita, and came up with this spicy, wonderfully herbal concoction. Well, I'd start off with uh, three quarters of an ounce lime juice, fresh squeezed, of course. Um, an ounce of verdita, which uh, we make here in house. Um, you can make it pretty simply at home if you have a blender. Verditas, mix of uh, pineapple juice, lime juice, um, jalapeno and habanero peppers, cilantro, and mint. And you just uh, blend it all up in a blender if you have it at home. Um, you know, a food processor would probably work as well. And then uh, strain it real well through some cheesecloth a few times just to get those um, the herbal sort of pulp out of there. And that's it, pretty much. Add a little sugar if you feel like it's not sweet enough for you. Next, you add a half ounce of John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum, which is a uh, rum-based clove liqueur. And finally, an ounce and a half of green chartreuse. Get some crushed ice or crush some up at home with a mallet. And swizzle it about 10 seconds or so. Um, top it off a little more crushed ice. I like talking to people about spirits. Um, it's something I really have developed a passion for over the few years that I've worked here, especially behind the bar. Um, I've gained a lot of knowledge about all these spirits and um, I wouldn't want anyone to feel shy or like they're bothering a bartender by asking questions. Like, there's nothing wrong with asking. If you have a question, don't feel bad. Don't feel, oh, I don't want to bother the bartender by bugging him about what kind of whiskey I should like or what kind of whiskey I would be interested in trying, whether it's rye or bourbon or if I wanted to branch out into other types of spirits. Ask for a dealer's choice. No one's going to hopefully bat an eye at you if you do that, you know? And then here we have the Shrine Builder for you.